Okay, so I have these um, butternut squashes that um, I harvested about, let's see, it was probably around October and it is the end of December. Um, so it's been a couple of months inside curing. So I have topped this part off of it, scraped out the seeds and the fibrous material on the inside. I'm gonna bake this for about an hour, hour and a half until it's tender. And then I'm gonna scrape everything out, mix the contents of the insides of this after it's cooked with some mustard, salt, pepper. Um, you can use, you're supposed to use ham. I don't have any ham, but I'm gonna just substitute for bacon instead. And some cheese, mix all that up. And some chives too. Mix all that up, stuff it back in the pep, in the halves, bake it for another 15, 20 minutes or so. And, um, oh, and you gotta add egg in that too. I forgot the egg, but um, we'll show all that later. So um, we'll bake it for another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then it will be um, squash cordon bleu. Let's get started. I'm going to take this out to the contents of this out and mix all the ingredients together once those contents cool down and we're doing that because when I mix the egg in there I don't want it to scramble the eggs trying not to get burnt Smells good. Whew. Come on, honey. I did not want that to fall open like that, but it did. Okay. Dang, son, that is hot. Again, do not mix the other ingredients in this until this cools down in the bowl because you don't want to scramble those eggs from the heat of this right now. This one fell open, but that's okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to leave some of this outer crust, outer shell here. Just to kind of hold it up. Okay. Here we go. All that right there has to cool down. I'm going to mash it. I'm going to get a potato masher mash it and let it cool down and I'm gonna run out to the garden and get some onions some chives out of the garden because I still have some growing right now in December so let's let this cool down mm. go get some chives Behold, 
my chickens. <laughs> get back. <laughs> get back. I can't get out the door. Every time I open this door, because they know mama's got the grub. <laughs> I got to go get some chives, homies. Y'all, I walk and they follow. <laughs> Can I get some chives? This is the garden. Ah, them chives are a little frozen. Stuff is still holding on. Look at that. I'm going to crawl over here and pull some of these out the ground right there. Hey, guys. Watch out, Satan. All right. This is cooled down. We're going to add in some chai or bunch of onions chopped up and some bacon it's cause for ham i don't have ham so bacon is the next best thing throw that in and about a tablespoon of mustard you're supposed to use dijon mustard i don't have that so we're going to use the next best thing regular mustard salt and pepper i'm going to try seasoning salt i love this stuff And cheese. I can get it open. I'm just pouring what looks good, like a good amount in there to make it nice and cheesy. I would estimate I put about a fourth a cup in there. You can put more if you like more cheese. Up to you. And thank you for my chickens for this beautiful egg. That kind of is going to hold it all together. Okay. Look at all that goodness. So give it a little stirry stir, get it nice and blended, and then we're going to pack it into these halves. Smells good. I might even throw some bacon bits in there too. I don't know. Maybe we'll top it with bacon bits. Okay, it's looking blended and I wanna make sure that egg gets all the way through. To spoon this in the halves. Probably should have left some of that cheese. I'm, I got another pack of shredded cheese that's kind of a fiesta blend I might top this with. Okay, let's finish filling this and I'll be back. See how much easier when you use two hands. That egg will help hold all of this stuff together. It smells good. Okay. Now we're going to put, I should have said some bacon too, but I didn't. So I'm going to just top some bacon bits on here. If you would have ham, then you would, you know, of course want it to be ham, but I don't. There we go. And a little bit of cheese. what I got. Greer, I think is the name of it, of the cheese that you're supposed to use that I do not have. So I'm just using what I have here at the house. Okay, here it is. Yum. Let's put this in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. 
All right, get ready for smoke in the frame. Okay, it has been 20 minutes. Let's, ooh, that looks so good. Look at that. That looks delicious. I'm gonna let that cool down for a little bit and then try it. Okay. Mm. That is good. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is really good. So this is how I'm going to start making my winter squash for now on. Oh my goodness, this is good. I probably would have added more ham or bacon next time. <clears throat> Let's try a little chive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is delicious. Winter squash cordon bleu.